Hey, why is my sleep paralysis demon in the corner? As somebody with a talking skull in his bedroom, I need to stop sleeping in weird places. Welcome everyone to a new adventure in Timber Lodge Inn, our newest sleeping arrangements of doom. Oh, okay, well, all right, well, that's a dramatic bit of sound effect. Property of fire, more police. I don't like that we're starting off with the property that, that means something bad happened to make this footage get into police custody that we're like in an investigation huh. viewer discretion is advised uh-oh uh-oh oh no a road <laughs> the horrors uh-oh wait did i just walk through that tunnel oh that's scary oh nice nice lodge oh jeez louise calm your horses buddy huh Maybe you wouldn't have such a scary lodge if you didn't have ambient sounds playing all the time, man. Is this a convenience store at an inn? I like it. This is a good sign. Press E to talk. A friendly lumberjack. As a man with a beard, I often get called a lumberjack. And I am trustworthy. I wouldn't kill you. Howard. Howard might kill you. Hello, stranger. My name's Howard. My wife and child are just abandoned me here, claiming that I wasn't a frigid father figure. Just kidding. Anyway, welcome to our motel. I didn't need to know about your divorce, Howard, but uh, how's it going? <laughs> I guess. Continue. Oh, so you want to visit Firemore and stay here for the night? Wonderful. Timber Lodge Inn is the best place for visit. Isn't that like an oxymoron or something? Because like lodge and inn mean the same thing. So you just put the same word twice in your... I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, you're in luck because tonight we don't have any other guests. That's like a really big red flag, isn't it? Just pick up wherever key you want and go to your room. By the way, don't forget, if you need anything... You can come to me at any time. We all need a friend like Howard, okay? Listen, your family might have not appreciated you, maybe for good reason. We don't know, but I appreciate you, Howard. I appreciate you and all you do for me, even though we just met. And you might murder me, Howard. You might murder me. But I'll take that risk, okay? Uh, sure. I just picked up five. Five's a... Is five a good number? I don't know. I've never been like a five type of guy. Anyone want some snacks? Anyone want some snacks from the convenience store before I go up to my room? All right. Good night, Howard. I really appreciate everything you do for me. Please don't murder me, Howard. I I can't get murdered again. Like I've been I've been burned for, by too many people, Howard. All right. I may not be the smartest man. I may not be the brightest. However, you said there were no other guests, right? However, I count at least two cars in this parking lot. I walked here, Howard. So unless you've got like four cars for just yourself, that's a little strange, isn't it? Isn't that just a little bit strange? The five door. Yeah. It's a good door. What are the TVs on? And so are the lights. Oh, okay. My favorite channel. Green. Sleep? Should I just go to sleep? You should always check the room first, right? You don't know any survival tips, do you? This person obviously isn't a Boy Scout. Nice selection of magazines, though. All right, I'll just go to... <laughs> just got scared by a yawn. What? Excuse me? Who's having a party next door and didn't invite me? That's rude. Why is this also door five? What? <laughs> What's with the doors? Why are they all room five? And they all open every which way. This is how a hotel is supposed to work. What do I do? All of the rooms are open and they're all the same. And there's noise coming from, I thought it was this, maybe it's above us. Yeah, it sounds louder up here. All right, all right. Howard, I don't know what happened to your hotel, but something's going on, man. 
Why are they all five? I don't I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in here anymore. Should I call Howard? What what, what just happened? Uh it was just a bad dream. It was just a really bad dream. Maybe I ate too many burritos from Taco Bell. Sometimes th that does that to me. Hello? Is that coming from my bathroom? Or from outside? Somebody knocking on my walls? Howard? What do I... Do? I don't... I don't want to go in the rooms anymore. Is Howard in there? He's still not there. He's still not there. Which room is the knocking coming from? It sounds like they're coming from, like from all of them. Did I even check like the the reviews for? Is there like a review system for random ins? Is it from here? Hey, why is my sleep paralysis demon in the corner? And there's um some weird party circle in the middle of the room. I I can't fathom what this would. Where do you go? Hello? Howard? Is Howard part of like a weird cult? Howard, you didn't tell me that we were going to have like a weird party in the middle of the night. Should I just go back to my room? Do you want me to just stand here like in the circle? Should I, should I say something? Uh, Howard, please don't kill me. I think I'd rather deal with bed bugs at this point. Should I just go back to my room? I've barely done any sleeping tonight. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm going back to my room. And I'm going to go to sleep. And nobody can stop me. Actually, everyone can stop me. I don't have the option to sleep. Hello? Howard? I don't think that's a good sign. Might not be the best. Uh, who knocked over the everything in here? What's that? A book. Hmm. I don't like the flashing lights. Hello? I always expect somebody to be in the shower, which honestly, it would be my fault. I would be the, the weird one in this situation. Was I supposed to do anything with the ritual room? Because I, I didn't know what to do exactly, so I just left. Can I leave? Should I leave the hotel? I mean, that would be the logical choice. I feel like if you are staying at a hotel, no matter how nice Harold is, no matter how nice the hotel is, if there's a... What? Oh. What just happened? If there's a ritual room, like there's no, no way. What just happened? I just got teleported. That can't be a good sign. I definitely didn't just learn a new superpower. Somebody's messing with me. Hello? What's going on? Why is my camera getting all fuzzy? Hey, Howard's back. Howard, why did I wake up behind the inn? What are you doing to, to people, Howard? Howard? Hmm. Howdy. Everything okay? You look weird. Howard, what happened to me? How'd you find that book? Oh, well, I guess I have to tell you a little story. Many believe that Firemore is cursed. I know, right? Everyone wants a haunted town in their story? What story? But not this time, son. Firemore is cursed. At least, according to strangers. There are rumors of serial killers, ghosts, even aliens that are among us in this town. If you ask me, it's a bunch of crap made up by the locals. Gotta make your town popular, am I right? <laughs> and there's no bad popularity if you make your town famous? <laughs> now, the thing is that all this is true. Except the aliens part, I think. <laughs> anyway, Firemore has some kind of energy. Many claim that it's because of the magnetic forces or whatever. You can feel it once you enter. The wind is heavy and suddenly you start hearing things. Isn't that just like humidity? I don't... Things that you not supposed to hear. Couldn't stand it. I left Firemore and started a new business here. Do you think the curse followed you, Howard? Because weird stuff's happening outside all of this noise. Huh. I mean, good for you for getting away, I guess? The only way to fight it, get religious. Just kidding. In the late 50s, there was a cult here, I believe. Called the Crow Feathers, or 
something. Many believe that they're responsible for this mess. They were worshipping a demon-like creature? I had to, two horns, and I believe they called it An Koku? Howard, you know a lot about this. You know, like, a weird amount about this. The demon of hatred. You know too much about this is no uh, this is weird Howard. But what do I know? Apparently a lot. Anyway, I gotta work now. Go back to sleep and don't bother me again with all of that. Howard, I thought I could trust you, Howard. I thought I could come to you for anything. You told me that that we were friends. That I could confide in you, Howard. Alright, I'll go back to my room. Whatever. I thought I could trust you, Howard. But now he's being all mean to me, talking about cults and weird stuff, and everything's just a weird vibe. At least, I'll what? Howard, my room is locked. Should I pick a different one? I guess I'll go get a different key. Do I have to pay for two rooms then, Howard? If you lock me out of one, I don't like this. Wait, what? The room key's gone. Howard, how do I get back in my room, dude? The real horrors is that I'm getting scammed. I paid for a room and he locked me out. What What do you want me to do, Howard? How do I get into my room? Why is there a rundown car behind your shop, Howard? Um, all right, Howard. Now that's a red flag. Uh, Howard, what's all this, man? You're going to have to explain something to me. I don't know what to do. Uh, none of the rooms are open. And I can't talk to Howard again. What the f- why? I was just literally just walking. I was literally just wa no, Okay. Now I'm in Alice in Wonderland, apparently. Can I fall off? Oh, I don't want to try. This is the weirdest dream I think I've ever had, all right? What did I eat last night? 52 packets of sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's, maybe? The staircase just- eh? Oh no, it keeps going. Howard, what kind of an inn is this? What motel- Howard, man, what are we doing, Howard? Howard, come on, man, I, I did not sign up for this. It, was this in the contract when I paid for a room? I don't like this, Howard. What is that? Howard, I, I'm not looking for new friends. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. What? A what is it? There is no clip through the sky? Huh? I... Th what? I just fell into the parking lot and all of a sudden there's a bunch of people in like robes obviously in the cult I guess and they probably killed me Is that where it ends? I guess that's where it ends. So I guess Howard is connected to the cult and is luring people to be sacrificed through the motel. Probably while we were sleeping, they gave us something so that we would hallucinate or pass out or whatever so that they could murder us for their, for their cult. Howard, you are a bad person. I don't know. That's my theory. Let me know what you thought about this game down in the com It was Howard. Okay, well, that's what I thought. I did not expect this. Howard, what are you doing? Howard! Oh, my God. Either way, here's some people that definitely wouldn't murder me in a motel are channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel and not sacrificing me to a cult. Either way, thank you all for joining today's adventure in Timber Lodge. And as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, courage and determination and the adventure is possible. And I'll see you on our next one. Bye-bye.